What's up? And welcome to Likeable Science. Today's topic is the water cycle. So here's a wrap to learn it all. Evaporation, condensation, runoff water from all the precipitation. Each stage of the water cycle is a station where water is always moving and changing. First up is evaporation. Let's see where the sun uses its heat energy to make water vapor from the water in the sea and even puddles and lakes and other water bodies. Then the water vapor rises into the air, goes high into the atmosphere without a care. The condensation happens, the second process, it turns water vapor into to liquid water droplets. Some water vapor in the atmosphere now condenses and finally forms some clouds. So when the water droplets are in their formation, the next thing they produce is precipitation. Rain, snow, sleet, hail, big or small. Hail can be the size of pennies or the size of golf balls. These are four types of precipitation that fall. So let's go to the finale of the water cycle. Last but not least, when water comes down, it runs off the surface or moves through the ground. Eventually it reaches lake streams and oceans and the water cycle starts all over again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And besides, what's not to like about Likeable Science?